Hey Scrabble fans, Will here with another episode of Better Know a Letter. Today we're going to get to know the K. There's just one K in the set of 100 Scrabble tiles, and it's worth 5 points, the only tile with that value. Some players group the K in with the power tiles, because those include the only other tiles with one letter in the set. But the K has more in common with the letters in the heavy category. The K is not a particularly strong bingo tile. Only 10% of 7 and 8 letter words contain a K. However, this percentage is actually slightly better than its four point peers in the heavy category, such as the F, W, and V. Not only is the K worth an extra point, but it bingoes slightly more often too. In longer words, the two tiles that appear much more frequently than usual alongside the K are the C and the S. But note that the K doesn't work as well with the other low point consonants in longer words. The D, G, T, and to a lesser extent the R all appear less frequently with a K than they usually do in bingos. This is part of the reason that playing a 7 or 8 letter bingo with a K is uncommon. On the other hand, the K's 5 point face value positions it very well as a scoring tile. Unfortunately, it appears in relatively few two letter words, making it somewhat difficult to deploy in short overlapping plays. Still, in the right spot alongside an A, I, or O, the K can hit extremely hard. So look for these letters adjacent to bonus squares on the board when you draw the K. So if the K is hard to use in longer words and hard to use in shorter words, that must mean the K is most effective in intermediate length words, right? Sure enough, when a top-notch Scrabble AI played itself thousands of times, it played the K as part of a four or five letter word 55% of the time, the most of any tile. More so than any other letter, learning the four and five letter words containing a K will position you very well to use it effectively. In shorter words, the K showcases very similar synergy with the rest of the alphabet as it did in longer words. The K continues to really like being with the S, and while the CK synergy isn't quite as striking as it is in longer words, it's still quite strong. When you draw CK together, make sure you do your best to play these two tiles on the strongest bonus square available to you. On the right board, you can easily get scores in the 50s or more on non-bingo plays, especially if you have the S to help you too. In short words, the K continues to work poorly with the D, G, and T but note that the K really doesn't like being alongside its fellow heavy tiles in short words. For this reason, learning the four and five letter words containing both the K and another tile from the heavy group, such as a B, F, V, or W, will greatly help you to escape jams where your rack is overloaded with high point consonants. You'll also potentially score a ton of points while you're at it. Here's a sampling of useful words with a K and another heavy tile that you may not have seen before. In longer words, the K has a slight tendency to appear in the middle of words, but in shorter words, it starts to appear more frequently towards the end of words and as the starting letter of words. Keep this in mind when you're looking for plays containing a K. The last thing to remember about the K is that unlike the rest of its group mates in the heavy category, there's only one in the set. This means that there's no threat of duplication if you have to keep it on your rack for a future turn. You can use this to your advantage by playing four point tiles for slightly fewer points and keeping the K for next turn instead. Okay, let's recap what we've learned about the K. The K is a mediocre bingo tile, appearing in 10% of 7 and 8 letter words. It won't ruin your chances of bingoing, but it certainly won't help them that much either. As a scoring tile, the K's 5 point face value is a great start, 
but a low number of two-letter words keeps it from being a truly powerful scoring tile. The K is most effectively deployed in four- and five-letter words. The more K words you learn at these lengths, the more useful it will be to you. I'm giving the K two and a half stars. The K outperforms its peers in the heavy category in some important ways. First, it's worth more points. Second, it's a slightly better bingo tile. And third, with only one K in the set, you'll never duplicate it on your rack but an overall low number of both two-letter words and bingos combined with poor synergy with other heavy tiles limits the K's upside. The K is far from the worst tile in the set, but it's also far from the best.